Here are my two new little chicks. Not so small anymore, huh? I brought them home on the 18th of July, and today is the 26th of August. They've grown quite a bit. I originally put them in a small dog crate to keep them happy and secure, and now they're way too big for it. So I have another dog crate I'm going to put together. Put the cardboard around the bottom so they don't kick out the chips and see if I can make it their new home for a little bit. I'll keep this small crate in the condition it's in pretty much now because what I do is I take them on field trips out to see the big birds. In the beginning I put them right outside the run and let them look at each other through the run. Now I've graduated up to putting them actually inside the run. Big birds aren't quite too happy with them. When they stand up on the end on that little roost I have down there, their feathers stick out, and the big bird's been pecking their butt feathers right out. So, I need to move the roost up a little bit, and I need to keep a better eye on them. But I'd like to have them out there, get them used to each other, see, smell, and hear each other. So it kind of lessens the impact of them going out there eventually. A big stretch there, huh? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put together the bigger crate. We're going to get it all set up, put cardboard around the bottom, kind of like what we have here. So the mess in my garage is minimal, I would say. And we'll get them set up with a little bigger uh, sleeping and uh, playing quarters. Okay, here's our bigger crate. I haven't put this one together for a few years, so it might take a couple minutes. We had a yellow lab in this one time. We got the dog. He's a puppy. And I understand that uh, by the time he was done growing, he was 150 pounds or so. I remember him standing up in here. His ears would stick out the top of the crate. And the back part, same thing, just going to fold right up. Clip on. This one has a door on the side and a door on the end. I think I'll use the door on the end for most of what I'm doing now. Looking at the front there, and I don't know if they'll be able to get underneath that or not, but. Yeah, we're going to put cardboard on this. We have to flip it over, and we're going to put a whole layer of cardboard similar to what we have on the smaller one right next to it. So hopefully that'll block that little passageway there, and they won't be able to get through. Flip it over. And see what we have for cardboard. Okay, hopefully this is gonna work. We'll see now. Yeah. How I put the cardboard on is I use this punch. I use it to make holes and belts. Works just fine for this. Just come along. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Shot. In there. Zip ties, smallest ones I could find. Just puts this on, take it around, get it so it zips. Here we go. Just keep going around doing this till we have it tied in all the way around. Yep, 
This will work. Hit it with a little bit of duct tape. Seems like a lot of work, but it's going to keep them happy and keep them safe in here. It's going to keep my garage clean by letting them kick all they want to and not shooting the debris out over the side of the wall. And same thing, just go around and do some more. Okay. So the cardboard's around the edge, and the chickens got freaked because the cardboard hit the top of their little crate. So, we're done. All we have to do now is put some pine shavings in, get them ready to go, and we can just put them over. That'll work. Okay. I have to find something that I can make a roost from, like. That'll work for tonight, right? You think? Let's get your water over. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Rushing up on me like that. You think you're going to fly out on me? Yeah, uh, yeah that's not going to happen. You're so anxious to get out. Now you just me. Now it's your time to get out. You're so anxious. Now you're going to fight me. Come on. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Check out those new digs. Check that out. Hmm? What do you think? Yeah, there you go. Start rooting around. I gotta figure a better way of hanging their food from the top here because that's just gonna get chips in it. Well, I'll do that. Piece of rope, maybe? Okay, the chicken crate is done. They're inside, they have their chips, they have their food, they have their water. It's all finished. I hope they enjoy being in here a little bit better than the smaller one. We'll have to wait and see. The ultimate plan is to get them out into the coop, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an addition to the coop to house them on the side, just a small addition. And then at least they'll be able to see the bigger chicks, hear them, smell them, be with them all the time, basically. And then eventually I'll integrate them into the flock. They're too small now, and at least a month, month and a half, until they're big enough to fend for themselves in the coop itself. What are you looking at? Hmm? They're crazy. I love them. They're constantly amusing. You never know what you're going to see when you come out here. They just had the water flipped over a little bit ago, and that's what chickens do. They're uh, very competitive between each other. 
It's funny, I'll put a piece of food in, and they'll just grab it and run around, the other one will chase them. And keeps them busy. I can't imagine what it would be like to be cooped up in something like this all day long. So that's it. Project is done. We'll move on to the next thing. Have a good day.